Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Storytime with Dad. We are uh, fresh in my library today. I'm very excited because it's a good book today. They're all good books, but this one especially was one of the favorites, not only with my kids, uh, there was kids at school. We got to read it too on um, Share Day and then uh, my godchildren. So this one is one of my favorite. It's very fun and I believe, yes, this book was actually given to us by one of uh, Trey Molina's teachers, Mrs. Ochoa. This is called Skippy John Jones. Yes, one of my favorite books. I'm going to read the inscription first. It says, this one's to Molina. Happy sixth birthday early. This is one of my favorite books. You and your family will enjoy and laugh while you read this story. Fondly, Mrs. Ochoa, your kindergarten teacher. And she's right. We enjoyed this book for many, many years. So please enjoy Skippy John Jones. Every morning, Skippy John Jones would wake up with the birds. There he is. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Bridges ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry and missed Doohickey's bath. The lecture went on and on as usual. You gotta do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants. Ooh, she's yelling at him, said his mother. About what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added. As she closed the bedroom door. Hmm. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce, bounce, and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce on my bed. And once or six times I land on my head. On his way down from Earth to Earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, said Skippy John Jones. What was that? So he went up again, and again it appeared. Then using his best Spanish accent, he said, my ears are too big for my head, and my head is too big for my body. I'm not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box, rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a muy muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow, I'm sweet like jello. I get the job done, yes, indeed. -o. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. Nah, answered Mug Junebug Jones. Mr. Flutternutter is still thinking. Ooh, she's angry. In fact, Skippy John Jones wasn't thinking about being Siamese at all. <laughs> With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious so band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. 
There's the people he's talking to. Look at them all. <laughs> then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? Asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Does you like rice and beans? Asked Pintolito. See, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed and half spoke the speak secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah! <laughs> Bless you said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yippee, yippee, yippito, it's the end of Alfred Bozito. Scapito is here, we have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad bombardito. Then all the chimichangos, they went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. <laughs> then they took a siesta. <laughs> but after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumbalito for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bozito, whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumbolito, bandito. There he is, big old bad Bumbolito. Si, sí, said Piquito Tito. That bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly, too. And now he comes for us, Paquito added. Por qué? asked Capito. Because we're full of beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall in his most somber voice, declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? The dude just wants his beans back, they said. And you... You are the dog to do the job. Me? asked Capito. Then all the chimichangos turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. But poor Capito had no time for a plan because in a blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Capito, or it's you, the bandito, Wolito, they cried. Capito stood his ground, but his legs shimmy and they shook like jello, and his teeth shattered like castanets. Then, in a muy muy soft voice, he said, My name is Capito Fresquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches from the great sword fighter's sword. Holy frijoles, cried Scapito, as he thrust his sword into the air and suddenly pop went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword, and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Brazito and Bumbolito Bambito. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yippee, yippee, yippito, our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans, and now we make our burritos. <laughs> These dogs like their beans. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug jo Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down to the hall to the kitty boy's room. Panguito, Crashito, Papito. Just in time, Skippy John's Jones closet burst open. Then out flew candy, beanbag doggies, 
and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola, muchachitos, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebugs Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? she added. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mi amigos, said Skippy John Jones. That is Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. Fun, fun story. Always loved reading it. Fun characters. Fun imagination inside of Skippy John Jones to think he went into his closet and fought off the banditos. Uh, I love doing the accents in this one. It was always just one of our favorites. And I hope you enjoyed it too. And I hope you guys can join us again as we give you another great story from Dad's Library. Until then, have yourself a wonderful day. I love you guys very much. Take care now.